Hello everybody, Brittany Bud. I am about to share with you guys on our weekly show, BAM, some stuff on manifestation. So I'm gonna wait for Devin, but sorry it's so dark. It's, it's like 9.30 here, and I'm just getting home from my sister-in-law's house. I'm helping her get ready for a big move. So I just thought, oh, I'm just gonna do this in my car, because why not? There she is. Okay. Devin, I'm inviting you. Now. Okay. So. There she is. Hi, honey. Hello. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yes, I can. Awesome. Okay. So today we're talking about manifesting and. I feel like manifesting is like becoming a recurring theme lately. Like everyone I talk to is like manifest this manifest that someone actually told me to just manifest something. And I had no idea what they were even saying to me. Like, what does this mean? Why are you saying this to me? I don't know how to do this. So I thought, first off, I'm going to research it. And secondly, I actually manifested something today. Oh, cool. So do we want to go through like my things that I learned or do we want, do you want me to tell the story first? Um, tell the story first. Okay. So I'm in New Brunswick and it is family day here. So everything is closed. A couple of restaurants are open. It's like a million degrees. It's like in the nineties here today. So we decided to take the kids to the beach where we always go when we're in Moncton. Because it's family day, everybody is out and they're all going to the beach because it's a million degrees out. So at the beach, like there's like a big restaurant with bathrooms and stuff and there's some parking there. And then it's it goes for quite some time. You can kind of park, there's like the beach and then dunes and then a road so people often park on the road and then out further away from the beach like going away from it there's another parking lot so usually we park on the road by the beach and we just like walk up over the dunes and ta-da we're there for the first time ever we pull up to the beach and the lineup to get into the beach is like at the street so we're like, oh no, people are turning around because it's taking so long. We're just like, oh my goodness, this is going to be terrible. So we roll in, some guy is on the side of the road telling us that we have to park in the parking lot that's really far away. Well, with two toddlers and a baby in like plus 90 degrees plus, I was like, I'm not walking 20 minutes. So it's like, I'm a Christian girl. So I was like, God, like, thank you so much for the amazing parking space that you are about to give us right on the road, right by the dunes, right by the path. So we don't have to walk very far. Girl, <laughs> sure enough, sure enough. We pull down the, we pull into the main parking lot and just kind of keep going down the road. Isn't there one spot, the perfect size for our truck? right at the path. And I was like, oh my goodness, I actually manifested something. <laughs> Parking spaces are one of my favorite things to manifest. That like, to me, that happens. That's like my number one manifesting thing. Like that comes all that I will always say, my, everyone's like, no, no, never go there. Go park over here. There's never a spot. And I always say, nope, I go there because there is a spot and there always is wherever there is. Like it's always somewhere different. Um, but yes, it, I love that because it is it, that it, it does happen. I believe you. <laughs> it does happen. I couldn't believe it. John was like, John was completely like, he didn't believe me. I was like, okay, like we're going to manifest it. He's like, no, we're not. This is not a thing. I'm like, yes, honey, we got to start, start thanking God already for the spot he's oh, going to give us. And he's like, you're so weird. <laughs> it's a law. It's not, it's not, hub, it's not hubbub. It, it's a law. I've been doing it for a long, like not a long time. I've been doing it. Maybe, well, I've been doing it forever. <laughs> I've been doing it my entire life as of you, as of everyone else. Um, but I was, I've only become aware of it the last year. So, um, yeah, I, I, am with you. So yeah, tell us, tell us more. 
Well, okay. So I started researching it because I was like, I don't know how to manifest things. People keep telling me to manifest things. I'm like, maybe I've done it before, but I just didn't know exactly how to do it. So I did a bunch of research and I found some steps on how to manifest things properly. Because I feel like when I first started hearing about manifesting, I was like, well, you're just praying for stuff. Like I pray for stuff all the time, but it's not the same. It's kind of the same. Right. Right. It's It's kind of, it's like, it's like when, when prayer works and, and this is hard to say, this is hard. This is, remember, this is coming from a, a, um, a, a not organized religious person. So you have to keep that in mind, everyone keep that in mind that this is coming from my, myself. But like when I observe it now, this, it actually made, it made religion make more sense to me, if that makes sense. Because I was like, right, that like, because all of these things, and it's, and it doesn't matter when we're talking about power, we're talking about manifesting, that power is defined differently by other people, by different people. So we are talking right. about the same thing in a different language is basically what I'm saying. And you can see this, you can see that it is the same but the difference is, yeah, when people are aware of it, because you, you can manifest bad things to you constantly without knowing it. Totally. Absolutely. So I'm going to share with you guys the steps. Like I did a lot of research this morning. I'm going to share with you guys the steps that I found that I was like, I, this makes sense to me. So first things first, be very clear about what you want. So, and even when I did this today, I was like, I want a good parking space. That I don't have to walk far to go to the beach. That's right by the path. So I don't have to drag my kids. It's going to be right on the road. I don't have to worry about anything. Because if you have vague requests, you are going to get vague results. I could have just said I want a parking space. And okay, there's a bunch of parking way over there. Have fun. Enjoy your walk. (laughs) So you got to be super duper specific about what it is that you are asking for right mm-hmm. that's why they say when you want a car you you go sit in the car you go sit in the car so you feel yourself in the car you know what it looks like smells like what the interior is that you want the more specific you get the, yeah. the closer you bring it to you and it is a law but it's also it also just opens your mind up to the possibility of what it really looks like and what it really is that you're after because right. when you put these these things on on everything that are not true, not real, you know, so when you can see it and feel it and touch it and smell it, you realize what it, what it really is that you're after. Totally. And like the, you say car and it's funny cause I was going to say car. Like if you just say, Hey, I want a new car. Yeah. Okay. Like a $200 old beater that like has oil pouring out the back of it could come to you. Like you have to be so specific about what you want. Oh. The next step is to actually like ask now. I'm a Christian girl. Devin is like, wh- how, what would you classify yourself? Non-denominational kind of girl? Like, yeah, like I'm more, yeah, I'm more like spiritual, like, yeah, but I will just say spiritual. Okay. <laughs> it's just easy. So like <laughs> God, the universe, your source, light. I've heard people call it the light, whatever you mm-hmm. call it. You got to ask for it. Say, Hey, I, w- I'm wanting this. I want this parking space really bad right now. <laughs> Yeah. Um, step three. Okay. So I talked about this with my husband. It's you actually have to like work towards it. So for once, my husband grew up very Christian and I did not. So for once in my life, I actually knew a Bible story that he did not know. And it was about two farmers during a, like a drought, like it's complete dryness. They're both praying for rain one farmer goes out and starts planting all of his seeds and everyone's like, you are crazy. There's no rain. Like we're having a dry spell. Why are you planting all your seeds? They're just going to die. And he's like, I have faith. And the other guy does not plant his seeds. He's just praying for rain. Who reaped the harvest when it rained? The guy who planted his seeds. You got to take the first step. You got to make action actions and work towards what you are trying to manifest. It's not just going to fall in your lap guys. Right. Devin. Right. The girl who stays at home with, with her PJs on, who wants to be a businesswoman, is not going to start attracting things that get her closer to becoming a businesswoman until she steps out of the house as the businesswoman. Then right? the business 
life will start to come for her. Um, and I say that because um, HQ, uh, Heather Whittle talked to her about a little bit about that for, for her own self, or like, you know, stepping into that. And when you, like, again, like when you do that, when you start stepping yourself into these roles ahead of time, what, what, what you want ahead of time, things yes. present themselves to you because you are a person who receives those things for that person. You can't be a person who stays, who like feels terrible about themselves, doesn't believe in themselves and hates themselves and think you're going to be some big speaker. Right. You can be a, you can be a motivational speaker, but you must then do the work that it takes to have the educated, to, to be able to give something to people to be a speaker. Like those are, it's just, it, it's what it does. It is that effect. And it is, again, like I said, it's a law. It is a scientific law. Yes. So, the law of attraction. Um, mm -hmm. The next thing is actually trusting the process, which uh, that can be really hard because especially in today's society, we can get answers to anything we want in seconds. The law of attraction, manifestation, they do not give a crap about time. <laughs> so it's really important that you trust that if something that you're asking for something, it's going to come to you. I think the big thing on that too is that sometimes there are things that you think are it's supposed to happen a certain way. So when when let's say you want to be um, you know top millionaire in, in your company, whatever what you, whatever it is you're achieve, you're set out to achieve, and yep. something happens that you think is the opposite of the way you're supposed to get there, like you lose you lose some. Um, some of your business partners, you, um, you, something happens like, you know, I, I, I don't want to get too terrible on here, but like something happens that's, that feels hard and horrible. Right. And you think that is a sign I'm not supposed to have what I'm after when in reality right. it is just part of the learning process that you have to go through to be at that point. So I think that's yeah. when people really stop. That's when they're like, it's not working. It's not working because it didn't, mm -hmm. this happened. And it's like, right? Well, no, that's part of it. <laughs> that's part of it. Yes. Yes. The next one is receive and acknowledge what you get. This one makes me laugh so hard because, Devin, I have been asking for more, like, money coming towards me. And I did was not specific, so this is what happened. I meant in my business, my child tax benefit went up. So I started getting more money from the government for my kids. And I meant it in my business. I wanted my business to grow. So I'm still getting the, I'm still getting more money. It's just not in the way that I thought. So I'm totally receiving that. And I'm 100% acknowledging that, that that's on me. <laughs> well, it, some one time, um, something like that happened to me. I, I actually can, I can, I can manifest money so much better now. And a lot of that I read, you know, um, um, you're a badass at making money that helped me. Um, and then, um, anyway, so then that started me got thinking on it. And when I, I was like, I need to manifest money, manifest money. And then suddenly I went and looked in my, in my business account and I always moved my money. I always move my money over and I hadn't, and I didn't know that. And I go in there and I was like, Oh, like, and even though it was money I'd already earned, right. It, it shows up in all kinds of different ways. I didn't remember, I didn't know it was there. And so I went in there and I was like, holy crap, you know, like, oh, thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank yep. you. And again, I, I do agree. I think the more that you believe it, because it, because it feeds into your belief and the more you can right. believe, the more you can release, the more you have the faith and more it happens and happens and happens and happens. Yeah. And yeah. And, and honestly, I'm going to say this, that I think that that is why a lot of, um, religious people some people want to say that religious that you know people are mean i mean the mean people the horrible people you know not anyone i am friends with but i'm just saying some people will say that religious people are gullible people like to say that sometimes yep. and so when they're like network marketing they're like oh they must be it's because they're gullible i'm like no friends now that i'm all close to them i'm like they do amazing because they know what faith is yes. they know what faith is and they're able to have it and have trust and let go and know what they want and release that. And they're able to do that. And they achieve a lot more in businesses like this because people who don't understand faith, I was one of them. 
it, that is hard. Like that feels like you're not, you're, you're not keeping your mind in the game. You know what right. I mean? Like, I know right. what that feels. I'm, I'm not like that anymore. I totally, that's, I think that's what I'm trying to tell you when I, when it makes sense to me now, I'm like, because that's what faith is. I get it now. Yes. I get it. And, totally and feeling like you. you're being provided. Totally. And that awareness, even just having those beautiful, like the beautiful um, um, verse that you gave, like that, that acknowledgement of what, what we have and how to maneuver this world in this way that is in joy and in harmony with the universe. And I think right. that I learned, I've been learning that. So, no, so <laughs> good. No, I love that. Um. So the next one said, keep your vibration high. And that means that law of attraction, you are bringing in what you're sending out. So if you are miserable, you are attracting miserable. And if you are grateful, you attract more things to be grateful for. And I think that's really important. Um, the other day I was driving with my kids to my parents' house, and I was following a dump truck, and a huge rock, Devin, comes flying at our windshield. It was so loud, my ears popped, and I was just like, oh my word, like I like blinked, obviously, and I, the very first thing I thought was, if there's not a chip, there's definitely, or the, if there's not a crack, there's definitely a chip. No. There was nothing. The very first thing I did was say, thank you thank you that that did not break and I did not have to replace that. Fantastic news. <laughs> yes, exactly. So it's, yes. That's joy, finding joy, whatever it is, even when you're feeling the, like the worst, like you have nothing, step outside and see all the abundance around you. Yeah. See, like do something that makes you happy, makes you laugh, makes you feel good. Like that raises your vibration because when you're not feeling joy, you are not in alignment with what the things you want. Exactly. And I think too, having like a heart of gratitude, you, you find joy in more of the little things in life and you notice more of when something good happens, even if it's as small as your windshield didn't break. Right. Yes. I agreed. Yes. So like you were being looked out for and it, it's, it's all in our favor. And my, my, totally. <laughs> Hi, we buddy. Special guest. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I got a little shot. He got a shot today. Oh, you did? Yeah. <gasps> you have I a band I was brave. You were brave. You were so brave. <laughs> Do you have a band aid? A blue one. Can I see? It, he took it off. Oh, you already took it off. Because yeah. you're so brave. You don't even need your Band-Aid anymore. Oh, he didn't cry. Not one tear. <gasps> wow. I, yeah. In your I arm? I, no, on his leg. I think, I think, I speaking of manifesting, I think I manifested him long ago. Like, he's, yeah. he's. I will show you my shot. She can't see it over there, baby. Um, but I think I manifested him a long, you know, long ago. Like, he's, like, like exactly what I just imagined. Like, everything, like, about him. And then I always held that in my head, I think. And then there he was. It was crazy. Right? And it's, it's, I mean, we've already talked about this. It's a lot about visualization. Mm -hmm. like picturing yourself doing these things so that it becomes more real in your mind. And this kind of also ties into one of the shows that we did before when I was talking about the different sides of your brain and like creating goals and like engaging yeah. the different sides of your brain, like the creative side and the logical side. Kind of cool. I didn't really think about that until right now. Um, the last step is to clear your resistance. So like resistance lives in us in like doubt, pain, procrastination, frustration, fear. If we can clear those and go back to the trusting, then we can, we're able to manifest and be open and allow things to come to us. Yeah, that resistance is what I call, what I used to call being a realist. Um, I always say I'm a recovering realist um, and, or, or even like pessimist at, the, at my worst. And that's because, you know, I always like to say, oh no, it is this way. It is my bank account. It, it, Devin, it is 
this. Like I can right. see it. Like it is that this is a crappy moment. This feels like a bad relationship. Things are this. Right. And with reality, they are. That's not, we're not saying that, but what, what it I is, know. what it is saying is when you can, the more you continue to focus on that, the more you're getting, like you're saying, instead of saying, this is a reflection of my past and how my, my past thoughts, my past troubles, my past problems. If I can move from today, I believe that better is coming right now as a result of me knowing that I am bringing better things to me right now. Right. And I mean, it's, it's certainly important to like feel those emotions. Like it's not to say that you turn into this like robotic person that just like never feels any negative emotions. I mean, we're still humans. It's okay to feel those, feel it, acknowledge it, like cry it out, whatever, but then move on. Don't continue to bask in it. Right. He wants you to see a shot, Brittany. This is not the one that he got clearly. Are you going to give that to your mom? No? Who's that one for? You. It's for me? <laughs> I'm ready, doctor. I, I, I still pretend I'm a doctor. You pretend you're a doctor? Yeah, I pretend. Um, best thing, he said, my, you know, doctors are ladies because all of his doctors are women that he's ever known. Yep. So he thinks that doctors are women. <laughs> Boys can be said, doctors too. <laughs> yeah, his doctor told him that today. <laughs> She's like, you know that doctors can be boys too. <laughs> oh, my soul. He is so I cute. saw a boy doctor. And you saw a boy nurse, actually. A boy doctor too. Okay. The boy doctor. <laughs> he's so cute. You I'm are adorable. Sure. Not you, but guys well that's all i got for us well thanks for it thank you so much and i hope everybody will manifest if you have manifested before or this is good hey. for you let us know below let us know what does you think she, about it does she have um kids she does have kids but she's in the car she's escaping her children yes she's they're in bed they're in bed, those. They're in bed. it's late here why is she escaping our kids <laughs> no they're asleep she's trying to get away so she doesn't wake them up yeah yeah, so we're going to go, too. Say, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Uh, bye, guys. Thank bye, you. Bye, buddy. <laughs> no see problem, babe. I'll see you next week. And like Devin said, if you have ever manifested, share your story below because I love it now. I'm like an addict. I want to manifest everything. And if you're like a pessimist about it, you're not really sure, you're feeling cautious, let's talk about it. Share it in the comments. We'll be posting this in our mom group. Be sure to check out the link below. We can add you into it. Check us out. There's lots of fun stuff going on over there. And I hope you guys manifest yourselves an amazing week. <laughs> Agreed. You too. Bye, girl. Bye, babe.